All right, welcome back. Well, the drought monitor's out today, and it's not good news either, as uh, most of the coastal bend, with the exception of parts of Aransas County, are in a severe drought now. And going back into our watershed, that's uh, in the extreme area there, so uh, not looking too good. The uh, rainfall, we just really haven't had any until you go back to the beginning of the year, uh, 1.15 1, 1 inches, over three inches below normal. We've only had 25% of normal rainfall, and uh, we're definitely carrying a deficit as we did at the end of last year of over seven inches. Temperatures are markedly cool along the coast where the wind's coming in off the water, 72 in Port Aransas, but 89 in Falfurious and 90 out there in Catula, 79 here after being 84 this afternoon. Take a look at our winds southeasterly. They're on the windy side at 24. It's going to be windy again tomorrow. That's raising the dew points high, high into the 60s and feeling kind of muggy out there. This will promote some sea fog, but the wind will keep the air churned up so the fog won't be too bad. It will drop to maybe a mile along the immediate coast, but inland it should not be a problem as far as early morning travelers go. 79 right now will be down to 69 at midnight. Notice how the winds stay elevated above 10 miles an hour, so we hold in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees on our overnight low. Satellite and radar shows uh, we're getting into this gap right here where we're seeing a little sun outside. That's kind of nice for the evening walk or jog with the wind blowing. And uh, again, lots of moisture working this way, but nothing to trigger it. That's, uh, here's a triggering mechanism, but that's going to move to the northeast and be about 500 miles too far to the north of us to do any good. By the time that happens, and these two frontal systems are going to combine as one and work to the east and not south uh, towards south Texas. So there's really nothing on the map here to generate any meaningful rainfall, but plenty of moisture coming in out of the Pacific around this upper level low. Look at the backside, all the dry air, the front side of it's got all the moisture. So guess what? There's lots of clouds in the seven-day forecast because even though this low is going to kick out with that southwesterly flow, we need the jet stream to either be down on top of us or way up to the north. It's exactly in the wrong spot for us to see a decent rain here. And once that moves out, a new one moves into place and it's just not good for uh, development of uh, rainfall or lots of sunshine for us. We get a little bit, but not much. You see all the clouds in the morning, breaks in the overcast tomorrow afternoon, but still mostly cloudy. On Saturday, clouds in the morning, lots of clouds in the afternoon. Here's the winds, they stay breezy overnight. And throughout the day tomorrow, turning windy, 77 at noon, 80 at 5 p.m. Highs tomorrow reach 83 here, 87 in Alice, 90 further inland. It'll only be 74 on area beaches with a moderate to high rip current risk. All right, here is the seven-day forecast. 83 uh, tomorrow, 84 Saturday, 82 Sunday, a little bit of sun over the weekend. Windy with an isolated shower Monday, St. Patty's Day, 85. And windy again on Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So not real good. Hold on to your hats. Okay. <laughs> right, thanks, Dale.